Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this book, or this video, we're gonna be looking at this book. So this is Vaccine Innovators, Pearl, Kendrick, and Grace Eldering. This is kind of, um, the author's is S. Wood. So this is part of his series called uh, STEM Trailblazers Bios. So this is an interesting book. So this is about these two women, Dr. Pearl Kendrick and Dr. Grace Eldering. And what these women did was they created the vaccine for whooping cough. So what is whooping cough? If you're not familiar with this is, it's a very contagious, very dangerous disease where basically children can't breathe. It affects the lungs. It makes a whooping sound when they're trying to catch their breath. So at the time, this was killing a lot of people. So this is the early 1900s. So when they started working on this, it was the 1920s. So in the 1920s, approximately 6,000 US children were dying every year of this illness. So this is whooping cough. Um, so what these women were working on, so what they, um, they were kind of in the area of um, another scientist we talk about, which is Weiner, the polio vaccine. Brain is not working. <laughs> so Kendrick and Eldering decided to, um, they were working in Michigan, they got permission to work on a vaccine. So they start working on this because, and then the Great Depression comes and they were visiting children in their homes and they were dying. So eventually, what they, they finally developed a vaccine, um, the first trial. Now what they did, which was very different from what was normally done. It's not normally done now, it's unethical. But a lot of times they used orphans um, and other poor populations to test the vaccines because nobody cared. So essentially they would go to insane asylums and orphans, basically people who were forgotten about. So, and they did not do this. What they did is they went to the community and asked people to be part of this trial. So they got permission and people agreed. So, and they spent a lot of time with this community. So, and they got really good results. So. The 712 children who received the vaccine, only four developed four developed mild cases of whooping cough. And 45 children developed severe, the control group, 45 children developed severe cases of whooping cough. Now they didn't expose them to whooping cough, it was everywhere. Um, so, but they needed to be sure. So they did a larger study and they got money from the March of Dimes, which was um, set up by this guy. This is um, Roosevelt and his wife. Well, no, um, probably one of his granddaughters. Um, and they um, they created the March of Dimes because he had polio, and they were devoting giving money to scientific research. Yes, the government actually giving a bunch of money to scientific research. We wish they would keep doing that. And they're not doing that anymore because the Republican Party is anti-science because they're, you know, pro, well, they're not pro anything, but moving on. Um, so they got a bunch of money. They did a second trial. They moved 4,000 children and it worked. So they were, and of course they had to, women in a men's world. So they were fighting up against that. But so in, let's see. And finally it was normal to be giving this whooping cough. I think this was the 30s. Yeah. Before 1930, in 1934, before the vaccine, there was 209 cases of the disease for every 100,000 Americans. After 1960, there were fewer than 10 cases per 1,000. That's a lot. Um, but they were not done. They uh, wanted to work on combining vaccines and they shared their research. And eventually, and I believe this is, um, yeah, they did the second, yeah, the second larger trial was in 38 and it kind of ends there. But whooping cough 
is now part of a combination vaccine, which is called the DTaP, which is diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, which is the other official scientific name for whooping cough, pertussis. So this is nasty. Um, unfortunately, it is coming back because as unfortunately with a lot of things like the measles and the mumps and the vaccines for those, they did their job too well. And crazy people are convinced because they have not seen the devastation that these diseases cause that they don't want to get vac vaccinated and they think the vaccine is horrible and it's going to cause autism. No, it does not. That's the MMR. Um, and that it's evil and some weird government thing. Um, no, they don't want people to die. <laughs> no. These women or Dr. Jonas Salk who did polio, do the polio vaccine or the people who created, um, highly unethically, but the smallpox vaccine or anybody who's creating the COVID vaccines. Um, the scientists, not the corporate morons who are apparently trying to raise the price right now. Um, their job is trying to keep people from dying. In the case of things like whooping cough and polio, these were endemic effects, particularly among children. So these people were seeing children die like crazy. So this is a really, really interesting book. Um, it's probably middle school range. Um, I highly recommend it. I may look into a little bit more. I always love doing books on women scientists, particularly in this time period, because there weren't a lot of them. And they, they had to work really hard. They had to be better than the men to survive in this very male dominated world. And they created a vaccine for an extremely dangerous disease. I mean, imagine being a small child and not being able to breathe and being a parent of that, sm child, sm that ch small child and knowing particularly your baby may die because they're just simply gonna, they're gonna start up, they're gonna suffocate because they can't stop coughing. So fantastic book, really, really nasty disease. Again, that's whooping cough, also known as pertussis. Um, so vaccinate your children <laughs> so they do not die or even suffer or live through this type of thing because yeah, uh, my chest feels tight just thinking about this. Like, oh dear God, not being able to breathe, which sucks. So that's the end of this video. Oh. If you like what you see, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. Um, I am covering vaccines right now. Um, I'm also covering the Gardens of Gahul uh, book series. I'm doing some film and media stuff for vaccines, which is a little bit harder because there's not really a lot of um, films on this. A lot of this stuff is going to be YouTube stuff. I'm covering unicorns later. Um, I'm covering musicals as well. Caribbean American History Month. I've covered a lot of princess stuff. Um, I did the entire Princess Diaries book series, so I balanced that off with some more royalty, royal history kind of stuff and castles, and I'd covered some more Tamora Pierce previously. So um, you can check that out. That's just this year. I've covered Black History Month. I've covered Hispanic History Month. I've covered Native American stuff. I think I've covered Women in Flight. That was last year. Um, so I have a lot of stuff. I also do some travel stuff. Hopefully by the time you see this, we'll... I'm planning some travel for 2023, at least two trips. So I have a tendency to talk about those on this channel and more educational stuff occasionally. So be sure to check out the rest of the channel, like and subscribe and leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you.